Hi, and welcome to this week's look back at the major news stories that have affected the market so far. And now, of course, we're into March and hopefully a bit of spring in the UK. So we're going to take a quick look at what's happened between January and February so far this year. And I think it's pretty safe to say that February has removed January's positive news. So January, we saw some positive sentiment in the markets, mainly due to the peak of inflation seemed to have passed. That's what a lot of commentators were saying. And the fact that China lifted their COVID restrictions, opening up one of the biggest markets in the world. However, February has seen that mood change due to new data that's showing inflation has remained stable and that the recession forecasts are back on the agenda. Let's look at a few numbers. So the S&P 500, for example, in January was up 4.9%. In February, down 2.7%. Gold, 